Mark School of Texas was looking forward to homecoming tonight until Sunday's tornadoes changed everything for them. The campus sustained major damage, but the hospitality of its opponent meant that the game could go on tonight. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers live for us at Green Hill School with the story. Brooke? Well, Ken, the cheerleaders are out here. Are you ready for homecoming? Yeah! Both teams are out here for a 7 p.m. kickoff. It's going to be a night of community for two teams and two schools that are usually rivals. Keep going. It's a homecoming away from home for St. Mark's School of Texas. The Dallas school found itself in the path of Sunday's tornado, forcing administrators to close its doors temporarily. But rather than cancel the fall tradition, they accepted an invitation to change the venue. We're like, please let us host it. And I think that was. A great feeling for us to be able to do that, especially if we were playing each other. It just made it just made sense. So St. Mark's blue and gold lined the Green Hill field with paint and goalpost covers, plus a sign welcoming the rival school. All meant to make St. Mark's feel at home, while theirs is uninhabitable. This game tonight is incredibly important, and I feel like it's going to be uh, important for the community as a whole and just our school. They really let us kind of treat this game like it's a home game, and let us treat the field like it's our home field. It also provides a time to heal after a challenging week. It's really a rallying point to get the entire community together to cheer on our football team um, and kind of continue on as if things are normal, even though they're obviously not. And a chance to show students at both schools that compassion wins over competition. Something like this transcends competitive sports. Um, I mean, there, there's no question about that, that uh, a disaster like this just brings everyone together. And Green Hill also added the St. Mark's tents to welcome the homecoming crowd. St. Mark's is hoping to reopen its doors on Tuesday. Live in Addison, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.